Hi, my name is Tara and I'm the client coach at Atticus Family Law. Welcome to video number five in this five part series about parenting after divorce. In this video, I want to address the topic of new partners. Now, after divorce, it is inevitable. Parents will start dating and more than likely they're going to meet somebody that's really special and they want to introduce this person and integrate this person into their child's lives. Now, for the parent who's in that position, this is probably a pretty joyous occasion. But for the parenting team as a whole, and for the children in the family, it can be a little bit sticky and a little bit confusing. Now, for adults, this new introduction can prompt a lot of insecurity. It can bring about some turf wars, so to speak, about whether or not dad's new girlfriend can take the teenage daughter prom dress shopping. Things like that can come up. There's a lot of adult emotions, some insecurity, like I said, also some anger, some resentment in how this new relation is forming, where it came from, how it's going. There's lots of things from the past that can be brought up and triggered into the future as a result of this new relationship. It's important to remember that adult emotions and that emotional roller coaster is normal. And if you're feeling that emotional roller coaster, it's a good idea to get the support that you need to finish any healing that needs to be done around this topic. But it's also important to consider, once again, the children's perspective. For children, this is another way that their family is growing and changing, and you want to be supportive of them. So what can adults do in this situation? Well, number one, it's a good idea to give your co-parent a heads up if you are going to be introducing a new person to your children. Just as a courtesy to say, hey, I met somebody who's really special. I'm going to be introducing the kids to this person next weekend or whenever that might happen. Now, sometimes adults want to communicate about a lot more than just that. Sometimes they want to make sure that they're on the same page about when new partners can be left alone with the children, when these new people might be sleeping over with the children in the home, or when they might start going on vacation with the family as a whole. Not everybody wants to lay out all of those details up front. Every situation is different, but it's important to communicate as much as possible to discover what boundaries everybody has. If it's appropriate and possible, it's a great idea for a biological parent to meet the new parenting partner and just be able to communicate some boundaries and calibrate some expectations about how the relationship and how the family as a whole is going to move forward. You can actually say something like, when my teenage daughter goes prom dress shopping, I want to be the one to take her and lay out those expectations up front so that everybody's on the same page from the very beginning. Now, it's also important to encourage children to respect this other person. You don't want them going into their other parent's home and screaming at this other person, you're not my parent, I don't have to listen to you. Especially if that person is in a position of authority and trying to keep them safe, like telling them, for instance, not to run out into the road. You certainly don't want to have a situation that could create a safety compromise for your children as a result of an attitude like that. What I like to recommend is that parents can position this new person kind of like a teacher, not a parent, especially not in the beginning, but to introduce this new person as somebody that the children should respect, somebody who has authority, somebody that they should listen to. But this person isn't there to directly challenge parents' authority, for instance. So that's it. Communicate as much as possible. Keep your emotions in check as much as possible. Get the support that you need and support and encourage children. I hope this helps. I hope this series has been beneficial. Like, follow, and stay tuned for more information. Thanks so much for watching.